So you've got yourself an Evercade. Now which carts do you get? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video than I normally do. Um, this one comes because there's been a lot of like murmurs. The EXP's dropping. People are getting these things for the first time. They're like, what the heck is this Evercade thing? Um, oh, you can get extra cartridges. Oh, wait, which ones do I get? And it's kind of just spreading everywhere. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's on MeWe. It's on YouTube. It's on everywhere. So it's just, you know, like this, people are just asking these questions all over the place. And I'm like, you know what? I've been playing Evercade pretty much since the beginning. And, you know, I have all the collections. And, you know, maybe I'll just give my opinion. I'm like, hey, you, you want some cards to start out with? Here are some recommendations. So that is today's video. Today's video is in is just that. It's some Evercade cart recommendations. I'm going to give you five of my, what I would think would be either favorites or five cartridges that I think you should check out. Um, some of them are pers of a personal nature. Um, you know, they're, they're carts where I was like, I, if I was going to make a top five list of what I would like, these have to be on them. They might not be objectively ones that someone else would recommend, but that's the point of watching recommendation videos, right? You want the person's opinion as to uh, what Evercade is all about to them. And, you know, maybe maybe you want to check out some of these. So um, without any further ado, let's just jump in to some. I am going to be playing um, some of the trailer videos um, from the Evercade channel as we go along to kind of like highlight the games and stuff like that. Um, and it's actually kind of fun to do this because there's a distinct like flavor difference of like trailer as you go on to like some of the later ones that look super awesome. Um, and then, you know, with some of the beginner, the, the beginning ones, they also look awesome, but like in a completely different way. And it's like, it's odd to see like their, you know, like blazes, I guess. Uh, um, I don't know, like advertising aesthetic. It's kind of cool to like go back down the road. And there's one, uh, which is oddly enough um, going to be at the end, but there is one where I'm like, wait, <laughs> like, we need some like with the the video that you'll get you'll get it. All right. Anyway, let's uh let's move along and uh, and jump into the, some of these cart recommendations here. Um, and we'll start out with Atari Collections one and two. So Atari Collections one and two um, are on this list in the number five slot for me because they are my childhood. Okay, you've got asteroids. You've got new stuff like Aqua Venture. You've got Centipede. Um, you've got Yars Revenge on the on the second collection. Um, you know, you've got some like seventy eight hundred games like Food Fight right here. Um, you've got like cool games that are kind of into the resurgence like Gravatar and Mystical Man because they just got recharged games. Um, you've got quirky fun games like Ninja Golf here. Um, all sorts of of really cool stuff. Um, you know, even, even the sword quest games, you know, like deserve kind of a look. And of course you got the great video pinball right there. Um, it's awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, I highly recommend, uh, the Atari collections and, you know, it is kind of, again, it's, it's one of those things that is like what Evercade is about because it's about kind of that lens to the past and discovering things that you might not have played when you were younger, because you might not have been, you know, old enough to, to have these, you know, when you were growing up. Um, but it is cool to look at. And and there's some cool, like, history stuff, too. You know, some things that, like, didn't make it and then came out later um, and that kind of thing. So very, very cool stuff. Um, Atari Collections 1 and 2 in the number 5 slot for me. Um, you know, they're, they're definitely a good time. And, you know, take me right back to the Atari room um, when I was growing up. Uh, and I think they're definitely definitely worth uh, worth a look and worth your time uh, there. So then we can move on um, all the way to some arcade action. All right. So we're going from Atari collections to some arcade actions. And where are we going? We are going to Data East Arcade 1. Now, Data East Arcade 1 is, in my opinion, the strongest of the arcade collections um, with games like Lock and Chase and Burger Time, um, which are classics, to uh, Wizard Fire and, um, you know, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja here, 
um, cool, quirky titles like Chain Reaction and Breakthrough. You got Dark Seal, which is an awesome game. This this game this game cartridge kind of has it all as far as the arcade stuff goes, um, and is totally totally worth your time uh, to be checking out. So 100%. If you're going to get one extra arcade cartridge um, out of the ones I think you have to buy separately, then Data East Arcade One, I think, has to be on that list. Um, so if you're looking for a good arcade cart, look no further um, because it is indeed really awesome. Now we go back to some of the, um, I guess we're calling them console collections, to one that I think just hit, fits the bill for, again, what Evercade is about and for um, and for what... Um, you know, what you could do as far as like discovery. And this is this one right here. We're looking at, of course, renovation collection one. And in the number three slot, you can't, you can't really go wrong here. Again, you've gotten a whole bunch of really awesome kind of quirky, kind of like um, obscure games that might've missed the, you know, like might've missed the boat on. And, you know, if you're trying to collect now, you know, getting these carts, um, like we were just talking about in the Fun for Five um, that's on the Evercade playlist here on the channel. Um, it, these these uh, these games are wicked expensive to try to get, but there's good, there's a lot of fun to be had. It's a it's a really good variety of things um, you know, to play. You've got you've got weird um, you know wrestling games that people may or may not like. You've got pinball games that people may or may not like. You got some RPGs again in that same category. You got awesome shooters um, and really cool action adventure games. Um, you know, like it's it's just a really really cool thing. Um, you know, this the you've got like action platformers like El Viento here. Um, you know, it's definitely worth your time. I'm going to jump around a little bit uh, to try to show you some more stuff. There you know, some of the RPGs that you can play. You got Gaius, which is a super crazy. Uh, shoot them up. Um, very, very cool. Very worth your time to check out. Um, and, uh, you know, it, and it's just, it's just really a lot of fun. It's really a strong cartridge and something I could wholeheartedly recommend. Now there is another side of Evercade, um, as we move on. And the other side of Evercade is actually shining light on you know, instead of just like these big publishing companies out there shining light on the little guy and the next one in the number two slot um, does that very well. And that is, of course, Indie Heroes Collection 1. 100% in the number two slot can totally recommend all of these games. They're super like charming, quirky, fun games that allow you to just kind of get that pick up and play feel. You can play for five minutes. You can play for 10 minutes. You can play for three hours on some of these games um, and then even get to the end on some of them, right? In the three hours. Um, but they're all, uh, you know, as, as stated in the collection name, independently developed games, some of which have, uh, you know, reached some form of acclaim and have been recognized in various forms. Um, some of which you might not have, not have heard of, but again, this is the beauty of Evercade. It kind of shines the light on all these kind of cool games that you that you might not have even just known that existed and then here you are you're playing you're having a good time um and that's in, in in my opinion that's what this card is all about is just kind of relaxing and having a good time and you know playing stuff that you probably would have never considered um but it is 100 percent worth your time and a lot of a lot of really great games for a lot of cool value um on this card so i could wholeheartedly recommend indie heroes 2 and of course you're getting uh, if you have a VS, you're getting that 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 cool thing and the EXP next year. Um, you're getting that cool look at other independent uh, games or or collections that are being highlighted in the game of the month. On um, the VS last year in 2022 was all about Indie Heroes 2, which is coming out in, in January, which is probably going to be another you know, solid pickup as I've played most of those um, games that are going to be on that collection, and it's and it's definitely a good time. So Indie Heroes 2 or India Heroes 1, I should say, is 100% uh, should be on your list because um, it's an awesome it's an awesome time. So now we get to the final pick, the final recommendation, the granddaddy of them all. Um, and what is that? 
I, it's like the weirdest thing like they made a trailer for all these other cartridges and in my opinion one of the very strongest carts there is there isn't like a collection trailer there's just a series of a whole bunch of videos on the Evercade channel and I'm like what okay all right anyway but we're just gonna go into it there is something that shows you all of the games that are on the collection in a very unique way let's go and what is this collection it is Pico Interactive Collection 1 as we see here, what I believe is Sean uh, from Blaze actually going through all of the games here. This is chock-a-block full of games that hit almost every single genre. And each one of them, in their own way, is either a super solid pick or just about like close enough to being a solid pick. There's Not, not every game on the collection is 100% amazing. Um, but there are so many other strong games on here. Um, we've got Canon, which is an excellent JRPG on here. Um, we've got, um, uh, we've got, uh, whatchamacallit, um, oh man, uh, there's so many, there's so many good games. Now I'm like, like looking at the thing and getting like confused. Um, we've got Brave Battle Saga, of course, another awesome game. We've got Water Margin, which in, in, which I, I believe is, in my opinion, my favorite one of the beat em ups um, that is on any, almost any collection outside of maybe, um, you know, Capcom, because of course Capcom is going to be in there and there's some solid ones there. Um, but Water Margin is such a fantastic game that it's almost worth it on its own for those two, the SRPG, the JRPG, and Water Margin alone. But then you still have, you know, all these other games that you could be playing um, that are really cool. You know, like quirky games like Radical Rex, um, cool racing games like Top Racer. Um, you know, you've got uh, Tin Head, which is a pretty cool platforming game. Um, you've got Eight Eyes, which is kind of like a Castlevania like kind of thing. Um, you've got all sorts of really cool stuff on here. Um, it's just really a solid collection. And, you know, to this day, I think remains the strongest as far as overall value. Um, because of the amount of games you get on the cartridge. So I'm going to pull my Pico Interactive here. There are 20 games on this cartridge. 20. Now, I know that Atari 1 and 2, also for value, also do tout that many games. But in Pico Interactive Collection 1, the, most of the 20 games that are on here, they're six, seven more hours um that you can that you can play and you know obviously the atari collection games yes you can play them for for an extended period of time but they're score chase games you're playing them over and over again to get a higher score right you know there are there's meat on the bones on here on this collection and i think that's what makes this so strong um and it, it makes it so awesome uh to have as far as a collection goes and if you're just getting in uh to evercade and you want some more bang for your buck I don't think there is a, a collection on this shelf right here that uh, boasts any more value than Pico Collection 1 here. So Pico Collection 1 is my top pick for the top five collections that I think you might want to check out if you are indeed a new Evercade owner. But that's just this guy's opinion. There's a whole bunch of opinions out there that I highly encourage you go check out. Um, and all sorts of people have been making all sorts of different recommendations all over social media and all over those, uh, you know, all over YouTube and everything like that. So please watch all of those people and then come on back here and have some fun with me too. Uh, what do you guys think about the list? We, you know, what are your picks? What are your top five uh, recommendations? If someone came up to you and go, I just got one of these Evercade things, what do I do? Let me, let me know down below. Um, you know, I'd like to see how close uh, my list it might be to yours. Um, and does this change? Notice that in the description of this video that says for 2022, for 2023, is the list going to be different? I don't know. Maybe, you know, like, there's going to be a whole bunch more collections that come out. So who knows? Maybe something drops. It's just so big and so awesome. It drops, you know, the Atari's out of there. Um, maybe unlikely. Data East, maybe, which is unlikely because it's so strong. Uh, but you never know. You just never know. So that's the fun about doing these things. I've had fun. Did you have fun? Again, let me know down below. And of course, until next time, folks, we'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys, and have fun.
Team RTSC.BakeItIceCream.com